Why do you think people choose psychopaths as leaders? You know, since I was young, and here's another thing, because people would always ask me to be in leadership positions. You know, would you be the president of the class student? Would you be the head of this? Would you be head of the hospital faculty? Would you be president of the academic senate? All those things, which I do. And I never ask for these at all, ever. They, they, people have always come to me and said, we want you to lead this. And they still get this whenever there's, you know, we can have uh, something where it takes an extrovert to really be willing to make a fool of themselves, which I am, you know. And uh, a lot of this just is class clown stuff too, okay? There's a lot of meld with this. In, but uh, that has happened throughout my life and still does. I still get calls for big fundraisers, for everything to, to head it and share sessions and everything. And it never asked to do that. So that's something that started when I was probably eight or nine years old. I was starting to ask to be in all these leadership positions constantly. And and I like them. You know, I, I, I like doing that. And I like uh, putting groups together according to personality types and, and seeing and it's manipulation but it's you know how do we manipulate each other in this group and create a dynamic that will work okay we'll come to a decision but a thoughtful decision in all of this and so even after all of this after this book and all this crazy stuff people still ask me to do it and i said you know i would be chief scientific officer or they want me to be a ceo or something like that and i said do you really want I said, I got this stuff out there, you know, they said about being a psychopath. You really want some of your business was like, it's got a billboard sign psychopath over them. And it, it doesn't matter to them. It doesn't matter. Uh, in a sense, I'm so obvious, right? It's I'm so much out there. It's not like some sneaky guy. I was like, here I am. Okay. I, I, you know, I, I, I have a, a problem with your morality, let's say. So, uh, but in, in that sense, all of those um, leadership things are not something I try. I think it's just a natural thing. And it's a natural thing you can see in psychopaths too. So it's not just, I think, and, and I don't know the details of this, right? But you know, you, you can see somebody wants to get in a leadership role so that they can steal or manipulate or do something. I don't think that's it. I think they naturally, uh, psychopaths have these characteristics with leadership. And, and it's also this fearlessness, you know, you're going to, do something crazy, but you're going to do it for me. And I'll do that. People know I'll do that. I'm going to go in and be a madman and I'm doing it for you. You're my group and I'm going to do it. And then I'll move on next group. I'll be do it for you. And, and I think people know that, you know, I'm, I'm around a lot of, of, like you are a lot of sophisticated people, very smart. And they know a lot about behavior, a lot of psychiatrists and psychologists too. So there's nowhere to run or hide in this really. Uh, and they know going in, but they want something to, to, to work and to happen. I have, tend to be able to do that and to do it in a very organized way. And so these are not at odds with psychopathy. In fact, they can help it. And so this is another part of being uh, pro-social psychopathy is you have skills and tools to make things happen. And because of, there's a, this strong tendency to be fearless, and certainly fearlessness is a big part of this. And, and for, for me, it is. And it sounds like I'm not afraid of everything, anything. I'm afraid of the boogeyman, you know what I mean? <laughs> and so, if, you know, you're always looking what's inside is what you're, you're afraid of. Uh, but those sorts of uh, things people want, you know, and, and so all the analysis of the, the U.S. presidents that was done several years ago that showed that the people, there was a series of two. One was the, the amount of psychopathic traits, uh, you know, ranked according to each of the presidents, and then who people vote for. And they're voting for these traits, and people will deny it. So I don't want a psychopath, I don't want a narcissist, but it's exactly who they vote for, you know, reliably, not every time. But they'll they'll do that because they, they love the hubris, they love the whole show, if you will. And they'll say they don't, but th they obviously vote for it they marry it, they go to work for it, you know? And so a lot of this is a reflection of, of, of people outside of the psychopaths. You know, they just kind of, they kind of deliver what people seem to want a lot. It's just that most people want, can you give me a little bit of it? 
and you know, and when my when my wife found out, you know, when I went through the whole litany of it, or tell stories about, oh, I mean, really crazy stuff. But people will say, you know, some of the shenanigans, outrageous shenanigans, um, which are very much John Belushi in Animal House, almost exactly, almost exactly.